Hello happy people, I'm back with another video and today I'm super excited. I'm going to be reviewing some more gel polishes from one of my favorite gel polish brands and that's Madam Glam. Um, they were kind enough to send me over some of their pink polishes in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. In case you guys didn't know, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and um, they have a really cool campaign going on called Think Pink for the month of October and I'm going to tell you all a little bit more about that campaign as we get into today's look. These these are the gel polishes that I picked out for the month of October in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness. And what's really cool is that the inside of their packaging is pink too, so it's all think pink, y'all. So the first color I got here is called uh, Strawberry Milk. Ooh, yes. Okay, and this is a really beautiful, just like, it looks just like it sounds. It looks just like strawberry milk, like a milkshake. And if you all could see, I don't know if you can see if I pull it a little bit closer, there's actually little fine, like, gold glitter in there. A fine gold glitter in there. Very, very beautiful color. I love this a lot. The next color I picked out is Rose. And that's because, you know, my name is Rosa, i.e. Rose 318, the name of my channel. And so, yeah, I just thought it would be fitting to get a color that's named after me in a sense from Madam Glam and this is a really beautiful nice kind of mauve -y, light pink color it's really really beautiful and I love it a lot so I'll be excited to use that in today's look next color I got here is called workaholic and I picked this color in particular because one it's a beautiful nude and two it really does define who I am as a person I am a workaholic by nature. I'm somebody who likes to work, 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 barely take breaks, barely take time for myself. And so I thought it would be fitting as well to get a color called Workaholic from Adam Glam. But this is a really beautiful, uh, really muted nude color. So I thought that would be really nice for um, today's look as well. So yeah, y'all just learned something new about me. I am a workaholic, okay? I'm the type of person where I work so much that I actually have to schedule time to do absolutely nothing, which people always laugh at me when I say that, but it's true. Otherwise, I'll just keep going. I feel like when I'm not working, I'm not being productive, even though I'm resting. So anywho, um, the next color here is called uh, Sparkling Hearts which is an absolutely beautiful shimmer from the lid. Let's see what it looks like in person. Ooh, wow you guys. This is a really beautiful glitter color. I am gonna be doing a breast cancer set in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So yeah, first I'm gonna go ahead and get all these colors swatched. The first color we're swatching here is called Rose, okay? And it's like I said, a really beautiful pink color. It smells so good too, okay? Alrighty, so this is what all the colors look like after they've been swatched. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you what they look like up close. This is Rose, which is a really beautiful pink color. Kind of leans ever so slightly on the mauve side, but absolutely beautiful. Workaholic, which is this nice mauve nude color. I really like this color a lot. It's almost like a kind of gray tone nude. Yeah, I really like that. Strawberry Milk, which is also an absolutely gorgeous. It's like a milky pink with some really beautiful fine gold glitters in it. Absolutely love it. And last color here is sparkling hearts which is this stunning glitter really love this color a lot so yeah y'all these are all the colors here again I'm gonna be doing a breast cancer awareness set one of my subscribers actually recommended me do a spooky breast cancer set so that's what I'll be doing for you guys here today so I am gonna be making some DIY press on nails I'm super excited about that and I'm also gonna be showing you all how to apply your press on nails using acrylic so stay tuned it's gonna be a really great video I'm gonna be making some press on nails for this set and the first thing you want to do when you have press on nails is you want to go in and file the little tab that is at the tip of all of like press ons and slash full cover tips. Next I'm going to go in with the Madam Glam base coat and apply that to all the nails. I like to go in with a base coat to ensure that the gel polish does not peel from the full cover tips but you can also go in and buff the surface of the nails first before base coat for better adhesion. This is what all the nails look like after base coat has been applied. Now I'm going to go in with Workaholic as well as Rose and Workaholic I'm going to apply to my index as well as my ring finger and then for Rose I'm going to apply that to my middle and my thumbnail. For my pinky I'm going to go in with this gorgeous sparkling hearts color and I did apply two coats of each polish. So this is what two coats of coverage looks like. I want to start off with the index finger. I want to draw a French tip on this nail using the color rose and um, make some cute little bats on the nail. So I'm going to go ahead and take my rose color here 
and just put a dot of polish on my palette. I'm also gonna go in with my Perfect Black from Madame Glam and apply a dot of that as well, as well as my Micro Detailer Brush from Young Nails. So to make the French tip, I'm gonna take just a little bit of that rose color on my brush. When I make my French tip, I really just do a semi-circle. I'll do on this side of the nail while I come around. Okay, and then on this side of the nail, I'll come around. And then I'll just fill it in. As I'm filling in the French tip, I do use the actual gel polish brush. And if I notice that the French tip isn't as crisp as I'm wanting it to be, I'll go around the uh, French tip line and refine the line to make sure that it's the perfect curve. This is what two coats of coverage looks like. Now I'm gonna go in and just draw some little bats. To draw the head of the bat, you'll go in with your dotting tool and just draw a dot. Then you'll take your liner brush and you'll just do like two little swoop lines. Um, two at the bottom, one at the top. I didn't like how that bat turned out so I ended up doing it again. And the second time turned out a lot better. Um, the, the bat wing wasn't as thick. So here you see my second attempt at the bat. So I went in with the dot for the head. Then I did those two little swoop lines. So two at the bottom, one at the top connect them and then just go ahead and fill them in after that after you're done filling it in you'll go ahead and repeat the same thing on the other side two swoop lines at the bottom one at the top and go ahead and fill it on in so yeah i'm liking how this particular bat turned out that's how it looked i cured it for 60 seconds i'm gonna go ahead and draw the second one This is what the bats look like. That is this nail for now. Next, I'm gonna go in and draw some spider webs on this nail here. Okay, y'all, I had the hardest time drawing this spider web. This first line turned out too thick. This second line was good, but not centered, going towards the corner of the nail. And they say third time's a charm, so I did it coming from the middle of the nail towards the corner, and that turned out a little bit better. And um, so in order to draw a spider web, you will draw um, lines going all connecting to one corner of the nail and after you draw all the lines then you'll want to go in and create like little I guess like half circles so these are the little semicircles or that's little curved lines I guess I'll call it in between um, each straight line and that's essentially going to create the webbing I'm so sorry I'm out of focus here um, but there we go back in focus and so yeah just little uh, short small curved lines kind of like half a circle to create that webbing and I noticed that on this side of the nail I needed to draw one additional straight line and I did that and that's how it's looking so far I did go in and finish filling in that web off off camera now I'm going in and drawing the web um, and after I do that I'm drawing the body of the spider so I use the big end of my dotting tool for the first half of the body and then the second end of my dotting tool just that's a little bit smaller to make that body of the spider now y'all these legs okay i thought this was going to be two little two little lines back and forth i wish i had a flash cure those first two lines in place because i ended up having to erase everything and redraw it and y'all this took me like 45 minutes to do like ridiculous amount of time these legs turned out too long and wonky and so eventually I ended up just doing it off camera. Take y'all time when y'all doing these spiders, when y'all doing the webs. It actually is a little more challenging than it looks. I ended up having the legs come from where the two circles meet in order to get it to look right. So that's the final result. So this is what the spider nail looks like. This nail took me like 45 minutes to do. Holy crap. Okay, so it's finally done. So that is that nail. Next, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go for some easy nail art now. I'm gonna go in with um, this nail here and I'm gonna draw some ghost on it. I think the ghost should be easy, you know? So I'm going in with Perfect White from Madam Glam to draw the ghost. You'll wanna go in with your dotting tool and make a dot where you want the ghost to be, leaving enough space in between each dot to be able to kind of draw the tail of the ghost. Then you'll go in with your liner brush and just kind of draw like a wavy line um, coming off to like the left of the dot and then one coming off 
from the right of the dot but then kind of connecting the two to make a point if that makes sense after that you'll want to fill in the tail of the ghost i did go ahead and redo the middle ghost because i felt like it was going in the wrong direction and so after i'm finished drawing that and filling it in i'm going in with this cuticle pusher that i got from shein and i'm using that to make the eyes so you'll draw two dots for the eyes and then one dot underneath that for the mouth and y'all these ghosts turned out so cute thank god that nail was easy to do okay i needed an easy one after that last nail so that is what these ghosts are looking like that's really cute next i'm going to go ahead and draw the breast cancer awareness ribbon hi Kara. good morning hi. good morning hi. 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 hi hi say hi mommy, mommy. Oh. you say mommy, mommy. Yeah, you see the nails? Yeah. You like them? You see the nails? You like them? Which one your favorite? Oh, the ghost? Oh, the pink? Okay. The pink is your favorite? Okay, that's good. You don't like the ghost? You like that one too? Okay. So that was quite the intermission. Um, now I'm gonna try to wrap this set on up. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do the thumbnail. I wanted to do a mummy. Oops. I wanted to do a mummy on this nail, and so I am going to be going in with the Madame Glam White. Okay, so in order to draw a mummy, it's pretty easy to do. You'll want to draw a thick line going diagonally at the top of the nail, and then you'll just kind of repeat that, um, and then just have it going from one diagonal, um, you know, to the left, and then one to the right, and then one to the left, and then one to the right, if that makes sense. And then you'll go in and clean up the lines as you see fit. And you want to make them as thick or as thin as you like. I like them a little bit on the thicker side to really mimic a mummy wrap. And here you just see me filling in those lines to make them nice and opaque. I am going to leave my inspiration pick from Ann Acrylics for this particular nail in the upper right hand corner. After you're done drawing all the lines, you'll want to go in with a dotting tool to make the eyes. Um, I ended up uh, going in and making the eyes a little bit bigger with the dotting tool. Once you have that done, you'll go in with white and just make two dots right in the middle of that. And then you will have the eyes of the mummy. After that, um, I was trying to mix up the right color for the cheeks of the mummy. This one I felt like was too like lavender-ish. So then I went in with that workaholic and rose and mixed those together. Um, and after I applied those, I really didn't like how those looked either. I feel like they looked a little too brown, like a pinky brown. So then I started again, and this time I mixed the rose and the perfect white, and this gave the perfect cheek color. Um, so then I just did two dots on either side of the eyes, and I really like how that turned out. I'm happy with how my little mummy turned out. And now on to the start of the show, which is the Breast Cancer Awareness Ribbon. So this is in honor of Breast Cancer Month and um madam glam think pink campaign um and i'll tell you guys a little bit more about that as i'm drawing this now okay so i'm going in with rose to draw the breast cancer awareness ribbon and as i'm doing that i did want to tell you all more about the think pink campaign that Madam Glam is doing for the month of October. So all this month for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, Madam Glam is gonna be donating $1 for every bottle of polish sold to the Breast Cancer Awareness Research and Awareness. And so I think that's a really beautiful cause that they are donating to. Also in addition to that, they have a Think Pink collection that's available on their website. And all the polishes that are a part of the Think Pink um, collection will be at a discounted price. Um, and again, it's going to be going to a great cause. So if you guys are interested in um, donating to um, breast cancer awareness or research, feel free to use my discount code ROSEB30 underscore four. Um, if you all want to save some coins as well as donate to an awesome cause, I think it's great that Madam Glam is doing that. So kudos to you all um, for making a difference out here. And so, yeah, um, this is how my ribbon is looking so far. Um, after I'm done drawing it, I'm going to go ahead and outline it. I can't even start to tell y'all how I drew this ribbon. If I'm being completely honest, I literally was following a tutorial as I was drawing this. So I'm going to actually leave that tutorial link down in the description box below. It wasn't even a tutorial for uh, drawing a ribbon on a nail. It was actually just how to draw a ribbon in general. Um, and I just, you know, drew it on the nail. So yeah, I think it turned out really good. Um, it wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. I think overall it took me maybe about 15-20 minutes to draw, so not too bad. Now you just see me going in and outlining the ribbon. And yeah, this is what the finished nail looks like. I love how it turned out. Alrighty, so this is how my ribbon turned out. 
and I am loving how this set is looking. So I am going to go ahead and apply top coat to all the nails. I'm using the Madame Glam top coat. I'm also going to be going in with those black rhinestones and applying them to both the index finger as well as the ring finger just at the cuticle area just to give it a little bit of blinktivity y'all know my sets ain't complete without it okay and so after I apply it to the index and ring finger I'm gonna go ahead and just apply top coat to the rest of the nails so this is what all the nails are looking like I am absolutely loving how the set turned out I am going to show you all too another way to apply your press on nails a way that I love to apply my press on nails to get them to last for two to three weeks is to apply them with acrylic and so I want to show you all how to do that I'm only going to demo it on one nail but um, I just want you all to get the idea of how to apply it when applying press ons with acrylic prepper is really important so you'll want to go ahead and etch the inside of your press on nail to allow for better adhesion and then after you're done etching the inside of the nail, you'll dust it off. Then you'll want to go in and prep your natural nail. I do have a full tutorial of how to do so, so I'll leave that link down in the description box below. Then you'll go in with swipe to remove any dust and debris from the nail. Then you'll go in with your protein bond to allow for good adhesion to your natural nail as well as your press on. Then you'll go in with monomer. I like to use the one from Young Nails as well as their Speed Clear. This stuff works really good and it lasts a really long time. Then you'll want to go ahead and take a, a whatever acrylic brush. I'm using this one from Joss Love, but you can use any acrylic brush. You'll just want a brush to be able to pick up the bead and set it down. I am going to leave this part in in real time to show you how quick and easy it is. It only takes about a minute per nail to apply. You saturate your brush in monomer. And then what you want to do is pick up a nice size bead. So I'm going to go in and pick up a bead. Okay. And then from there, you'll set the bead on the nail. Okay. And then you'll just spread it out. And with applying press-ons with acrylic, the acrylic kind of acts as the glue instead of using like a nail glue or anything like that. So you'll want to spread it out as best you can like so and that looks good to me and so then after that you go in with your press on nail now the key to this with the press on nail is to slightly tuck it underneath the cuticle so you'll slightly tuck the press on underneath the cuticle and then press down and you want to keep applying pressure keep applying pressure keep applying pressure and if any of the acrylic seeps out on the side, that's okay because you'll be able to go in and clean that off as the acrylic is setting. So you'll just keep pressing down, keep pressing down, keep pressing down. And again, because we're using Speed Clear, it's going to set really fast. Once the acrylic starts to set a little bit, all you have to do is go around your side walls and remove any remaining acrylic that might be overflowing. So you'll do that on one side. And you see that it's really easy to come off like so. You repeat that same process on the other side. Any of the acrylic that has overflown, you'll just take it off on the other side like so. And that's it. You've literally just applied your press-on nail with acrylic. I love using this method to apply my press-on nails if I want my press-ons to last for about uh, two to three weeks. And I do have a full tutorial showing you all how to do this in more detail as well as having a three-week wear test. I'm going to leave that video linked down below as well. But I just wanted to show you all this really quick that there's numerous ways to apply press-on nails. And then I'll also link to my press-on nail series so you all can see all the different ways I've tried up to this point. I'm going to go ahead and apply the rest of the nails and I'll be right back. All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? Yes, I am absolutely loving how my spooky breast cancer awareness nails turned out, y'all. I'm loving how that fridge tip turned out with a little bit of bats. That spider web took me a year and a day to do, but it was achieved, okay? Um, I love how my little ribbon turned out in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, as well as this, these beautiful ghosts, y'all, on this glitter. And y'all, let's not forget about this mummy, y'all. Too freaking cute. I am loving how this set turned out. I hope you all are too. I did actually have to do a little bit of planning for this set. So this is how I planned it out. And this is what reality looks like on it. So yeah, let me know how I did y'all. Let me know how I did, okay? Don't forget to go over to Madam Glam's website. Um, use my discount code to save y'all some coins while also donating to a really great cause. I think it's great that um, Madam Glam has their Think Pink campaign going on in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. You all know their products are really great, really high quality, really clean. Highly recommend it and special shout out to Madam Glam for donating to such a great cause. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments below. Um, stay tuned to the end. I do have a little slideshow showing you all what these nails look like outside, but yes, I 
do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!